What was the reason to create such a film? Um, initially, I was inspired to go and discover what was happening in the Calais jungle, um, which was on the doorstep to England, after hearing news reports about how migrants were coming across in their swarms and hearing quite a negative kind of news angle of how the refugees were moving across Europe in the summer of 2015. Um, after going to the Calais jungle, I realised this was a very kind of end part to a bigger story. So we set off to Europe to make a film about the refugees. And when we arrived in Europe, we arrived amid, amid a, a media storm, a global news storm, as you could call it. Um, and from that, we became quite fascinated by how the news machine itself worked and the people behind it. Um, and we, we, yeah, that was kind of our main inspiration. And we ran into an amazing scene at the Hungarian border where we witnessed thousands of people running along the motorway. And that night we spent the night with the NBC New, um, USA news crews. Um, and then through that experience, we kind of gained an insight that this was a kind of different angle that which we kind of wanted to tell and explore further. So from then on, we covered the news angle from there, that, that way forward. So what did you learn how news organizations are covering these events? Are they using the, all the same way to do it? Or, or what did you learn? What was your first impression when you were in Greece? I think, I think what we witnessed when we were in Greece on the beaches, when so as the boats come in, um, the refugees come in on their boats, um, they met often with it, well, when we were there particularly, um, with a sea of news cameras. Um, for me, that was kind of quite a shocking image, just as it is. I mean, before they even offered a bottle of water, they've got a camera in their face, and there's questions coming to them, and they're coming off emotional, and they haven't actually got an opportunity to even, you know, be asked if they're happy to have their image on camera. So for me, that was kind of an interesting dilemma as well as a filmmaker as, as working at that point. Um, Obviously, it was very important, I think, for the news to be there to show the world what was happening and that the refugees coming in. And there was a lot of good reporting, um, but I think there's also some sensationalist reporting which kind of, kind of focused on the kind of moments of chaos and the kind of desperation rather than kind of telling some of the stories um, in a more educated way.